Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, it is only fitting that Edinburgh is the host of this financial conference. Scotland has over 300 years of experience in financial services, is home to the oldest professional accounting body in the world, and pioneered the concept of personal savings banks. Edinburgh was also home to Adam Smith, author of The Wealth of Nations, but also author of the equally compelling theory of moral sentiments. This second work, which posed that social norms can be stronger guideposts to moral action than the market alone, is at the heart of Scotland's ethical finance approach. Today we need about $2.5 trillion a year to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. Global household wealth stands at about $250 trillion, and the wealth of institutional investors, pension funds, endowments, sovereign wealth funds, and investment houses stands at more than $100 trillion. Investing even a fraction of 1% of this wealth would completely fill the SDG finance gap. At the same time, we are hearing clear signals from investors that they are interested in divesting from companies that are not aligned with the SDGs and reinvesting in SDG-aligned enterprises. That is why I am particularly excited about our new partnership initiative with the Government of Scotland, the Ethical Finance Hub, and other partners such as Faith Invest. Our goal in UNDP with this partnership is to explore and test new ways of channeling finance to focus on inclusive, nature-based, small and medium enterprises. Inclusive investments target those who have had difficulty gaining access to finance, small farmers, fishers, forestry and ecotourism enterprises. Nature-based investments achieve triple wins for people, planet and prosperity. We are also very pleased to be cooperating with Herod Watt University with the aim of running a joint course on entrepreneurship to help grow this pipeline of investment-ready enterprises. I very much congratulate the Government of Scotland, which is on the leading edge of ethical finance, and I wish you all the best of luck for this conference. Thank you.